Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on comics and toys and this video we are looking at comics one of my favourite things and it took me a while to pick these up but DC did a, a variant cover month which they seem to do every month now and a theme and this was um, all the covers were drawn by the artist Darwin Cook who did the Justice League New Frontier mini series out a few years ago which I don't actually have but I thought I'd pick these up because most of them I really really liked there's a few in there I wouldn't usually buy but in the end I ended up getting the whole lot so this is a complete set of all the Darwin Cook covers and they're not too expensive I got most of mine from my comic shop Dark Star in Farnborough Cove a little plug there and the rest of them I picked off off of eBay so for variant covers they weren't too expensive so first of all we got the Catwoman cover which is quite nice not too bad wouldn't usually pick this one up and the comics getting a bit cack at the moment and it's all to end soon anyway all, all the DC titles are changing it all so here's the Catwoman one not too bad not really much going on there really next one is Superman and this is probably one of the worst ones I think Superman flying out the window and it's a good job he remembered his trousers because he would have been flying over Metropolis with his, his penis out in front of everyone so there we go there's a uh, Superman number 37 next we've got Grayson which is not brilliant cover it's okay not too bad quite nice colours yeah. the story's a bit boring at the moment he just fought Midnighter recently which is quite interesting but Apart from that, I kind of prefer him to go back to being Nightwing again. So, not too bad cover, not brilliant. Another one of my, this is one of my favourites, is a Justice League United. It's a really nice cover, typical superhero pose. And I don't get this comic usually, but this is a really nice cover. And, yep, yeah, I think that's one of the, the best ones, one of the first ones I brought. Batman and Robin there really sort of classic Batman artwork, really like that and reminds me they all like Batman 66 but obviously it's not so there we go, nice comic, nice cover Supergirl, and this is really cheesy this cover but I really like this, really like it for some reason I'm quite a big fan of Crypto and I like his old form where he doesn't look as he looks more wolfy at the moment, I like him in his sort of old doggy form and the Supergirl and Streaky the Super Cat, and I cannot remember the horse's name. We will call him Super Dong. And I imagine her flying him over Smallville and him doing a, a big horse dump anywhere and anywhere and just landing on someone's head. So it's not one of the best covers, but it's one of my favourite covers for some reason. Sort of really cheesy. I've got back into really cheesy 70s DC and Marvel at the moment, so I'm enjoying this one. Anyway, I digest. One of my favourite covers is Justice League. Really nice cover. Reminds me of Batman Animated. And yeah, it just looks really nice. I'll probably say this is probably my favourite cover out of the whole lot. One of the top three or four. There we go. Next up is Green Lantern. Another one of my favourite covers. This is really nice. Reminds me of the cartoon artwork. And just looks really nice, really suits it, I think. And it's a nice change for Green Lantern. Next up is the Flash. That's a really nice cover. Done really well. It's not my favourite, but I appreciate the, the way this one's done. Sort of really classic artwork again. Very good artist, Darwin Cook. And next up is Batgirl. This is a really nice cover as well. Uh, a costume kind of suits his, um, his artwork style, but I'm not a big fan of the new... Batgirl comic. I've stopped buying it for a while, for a bit now, so see what happens in the future. But yeah, nice to see her on her bat bike. Next up was Green Lantern Corps, really nice cover as well. And it's got all most of the Green Lanterns in there. But yeah, this is a really good one. I'll stop buying Green Lantern Corps, so that series is finishing soon. And Batman, the on normal ongoing series. It's a nice cover, it's a bit. It's a bit busy. Joker looks nice, but 
yeah, it's a bit busy this one. I prefer it's more sort of basic -y stuff, but yeah, it's quite good. And ends up with three issues of this for some reason, I don't know why. Next up is He Man, because it was the only, it was the last one I had to buy, and I thought, well, fuck it, I might as well get them all so I could do this video. So don't buy He Man now, the story's changed too much, but um, I got it just for the cover, and to say I've got a complete set of these. So yeah, that's not brilliant. I'm quite, a, I'm quite a big He-Man fan, but not enough to buy the comic. Next up, we've got Superman and Wonder Woman, and that's quite a nice comic that cover. And not much going on. They're having a nice relaxing day, and maybe a bit of dogging later on after we've had that apple. So I have to wait and see. Justice League Dark, not one of the best covers this one, because it's it's quite dark, you can't really see a lot going on, and that looks like some sort of dog-in scenario as well, one flashlight for I'm ready, and two flashlights for meet you around the back for some happy time, so there we go. Next one is Sinestro, one of the good Green Lantern titles, but not amazing comic going on there, looks like there's like some um, hoarder's house there. He's been collecting um, pots and pans for some reason. Maybe he's going to do a boot fair this weekend. We'll have to wait and see. I'll buy his yellow ring. Harlequin. It's not a brilliant cover for Harlequin. It's okay. She's showing a booty. So I suppose people will like that. But yeah, it's not a brilliant cover. Harlequin comic at the moment. It's not brilliant, but it seems if you don't buy it, then the issues seem to go for a lot of money, so I'm habit buying with Harley Quinn. Uh, Wonder Woman, it really sort of old school Wonder Woman cover, really nice actually. Uh, don't buy Wonder Woman, but uh, it's quite good. I'm not buying that at the moment, but nice cover, nice big child bearing thighs there. Batman and Superman. Uh, number 17, still buying his comics, quite good. It looks like they're trying to work out how to use a microwave, but it's in fact a bomb. So, nice cover, not too bad. And for some reason it looks like it's full of green piss. Detective Comics 37, not a brilliant cover, but it's very heartwarming to see Alfred looking after Bruce there after a busy night out breaking people's jaws and I think he's going to put the modesty blanket over Bruce Wayne's little dicky dum dums there and put his bat pants down and get the bat poison out the, the bat penis so it's a, a normal night for Batman and his mum and dad are watching as well in the background Teen Titans this is a really cool cover um, I don't like the comic anymore, it's got really crap, but it doesn't make any sense this comic, this cover, but it's really cool, it's nice to see them in a band having a good time, they might be playing some uh, Taylor Swift, or maybe a bit of Motorhead's going down, so we'll have to see, I wouldn't like to be um, playing guitar with Flash on the drums, he's, I imagine he's quite fast with his blast beats, but there we go, someone's just shouted in the crowd, Robin get your cock out. And he says, okay, I'm going to do it for you. And we just missed that next picture. So next we've got Action Comics, number 37, Superman. And funny story is this is, you think he saved that boy there from a train, but actually Superman threw his bike into the train and the little boy's just about to start crying. And Superman's got a really smug smile on his face. So <laughs> you don't have a bike anymore and I can fly and you don't get the train, you bastard. So yeah, it's a bit of a... Sad scenario that one. Next up, we've got Aquaman, and there's not much going on there apart from loving, and Aquaman's getting some. And yeah, basically, that wave's hard and hiding is hard on, so it's all good, and it's all fishy as well. So that is it with all the covers. So, excuse my ramblings and taking the piss out of them, of stuff I enjoy, but I do that for some reason. But yeah, that's all the comic covers. Definitely recommend picking them up, really nice. 
and I'm going to try and stop buying some variant covers for a while because we've got all the Converge and the new Secret, Mar Secret Wars Marvel stuff going on so there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out so hopefully I won't be too broke but hope you enjoyed the video and keep on collecting and put some comments down, comments down below and I will speak to you all and see you very soon on the interweb. Bye bye.